Now we need to be able to delete an employee. So whenever you click the X here and they click yes, then we want the employee to be deleted. Obviously this is not working because we haven't added the functionality for that. So let's go back into the app. And I don't remember how the delete works. So let's go back to the service. So here's the delete. So we need the employee ID, which is gonna be a number. So let's go back here. What we can do, I'm just gonna go down here and then copy this again and then paste it down. And I'm gonna change this to on delete employee. So we're going to take the employee ID and that's going to be a number. The return type is still void. And here we're going to call the delete employee from the service and pass in the employee ID. And we get an error here. And I think it's because this doesn't return anything except the HTTP status code. So let's go back to the service. Yep. So this doesn't return anything. So it returns void. So we can go back here and say whatever the response this is going to be. It's going to be of type void and we don't need to log this. Well, actually we can still log it so that we can see what it is. And then we're going to call the get employees again to reload everything. And then we will show the error message if there's an error. And I think that's pretty much everything we have to do. Now we're going to do something similar that we did last time. So whenever it's an edit, we're going to define a new variable. So this delete employee and we're going to set it equal to the employee that's being passed into this function. And we need to define this at the class. Quick fix, declare property. Let's scroll up to see what this did for us. So I'm just going to put the qualifier on that. So I'm just going to make it public. So this is going to represent the delete employee. And then we can use that employee uh, as the employee in the template because it's declared at, at the class level. So let's scroll down, make sure I put this in the right spot. So okay, when it's delete, then we set the delete employee to the employee that's being passed in here, just like we did with the edit employee. So now we can use this to bind it in the template. So I'm just gonna copy it, go back to the template, and I'm gonna collapse the edit modal, go to the delete one, and we can bind it to this button here whenever they click yes. So we can add a click listener, and set it equal to our function, which is um, on delete employee. And we're gonna pass in the delete employee. So we're gonna do delete employee, which is coming from the uh, component. And we pass in the ID because that's all we need to call this function. And we're gonna put the safe navigator here. And we can also add the name of the employee. So. We're gonna say, do you, are you sure you really want to delete employee so-and-so? So we can pass in the employee name here. So that's gonna be the delete employee. And we want the name. So that way we can uh, personify this, um, this message. Um, let's go up a little bit. I think we can do the same for this. So edit employee, and then we pass in the edit employee name. So we can copy this and paste it here um, so that they know what employee they're deleting. So I'm gonna collapse this back. So that should work. So whenever they click to, and they say yes, then it's gonna call this function and then it's gonna pass in the ID of this um, employee. So let's go back to the app, make sure we don't have any errors. Inspect console. Okay, it's just trying to look these images that we don't have, like this image in here and here. So if we refresh it, that's what it's gonna that's what it's gonna say. You can see you can't find those images because we didn't put any images for this. Let's close this and let's delete. Yes. You can see it's gone. So let's debug this to make sure it's working properly. So again, I'm gonna go to source and let's go to the open modal. Line 75, put a breakpoint, and I'm gonna delete this user. So it's gonna come here, and you can see it's the actual user that we're trying to delete. And it's gonna go in, and it goes, it's, it's supposed to go into this, so let's see. Yep, it goes into this, so it's gonna set this delete employee here. So step over, look at the delete employee, it's this employee here. So we can finish this, so this motor is gonna come up. So on that form, 
we have this employee here. As you can see, his name appears here. Okay, so we can say yes. So I'm gonna put another breakpoint before I do that. So I'm gonna put in 63 here so we can see what's happening here. So if I do yes and check this ID, it's ID 9, which is the ID of the employee. And it's gonna make the call to the backend. So we can finish this. You can see the employee is, is removed. So that's pretty much everything for this little tiny application. Now we have to just work on this search employee so that whenever we start typing something here and then we can filter this list right here. And then we also have to fix this. Actually, this is a quick fix. Let's see if I can just fix it real quick. So we want to show this in case there is no employee. Obviously, we don't want to show this and then some employee here or, or even one employee because we have at least one. So we need to put a condition on this alert so that we can only show this alert when we have zero employee here. And that's super easy to do. So let's go back to the app and this is the notification so from from line 153 so what we have to do is to just put a condition on this so we can do this by adding an ng if so i'm going to do ng if so what i want to check is the length of the array so remember we have the list of all the employees on this variable here which is an array as you can see here or a list from a java or collection from a java perspective so we can just check the length of this list and then use that as our condition so we can go back here we're going to say if this list exists see if you can get the length on that list okay and we can say if this length is zero then show this list okay oh show this notification so it's going to check to see if this is true if it's not true then it's not going to show this alert if it is then it will show this alert which means we have zero employees so if we save this go back you can see now it's gone because we have that condition okay so i'll see you guys in the next one